I have some concerns about this main menu screen. Hey guys, my name is Epicalc, and welcome to Worshippers of Cthulhu, specifically the demo build, because I'm broke. So, I figured this isn't a horror game, but going into Halloween week and my week of horror, which will begin on Friday, I figured I'd go ahead and play this game just as a little, a little teaser, a little, a little warm-up going into the spooky season, because, you know... What's freakier than this? A Cthulhu, you know? How do I... Whoops, I have my mouse in the wrong tab. There we go. New game. This is a town builder for the record. Let's see. The Dream Shroud. Your long journey towards a prophesized land hosting an opening to the sacred Relea. Relea is at its end. Can you keep your cult alive? Can you peek at the secrets of the old one? Okay. What do we got going on here? I am not a harbinger of destruction. I am but a herald of cosmic rebirth. Our purpose is not to sow chaos, but to embrace the inevitable evolution that awaits us all. I don't like how you said evolution. It is insignificant, pitiful in its smallness. Rude. Our existence is a fleeting whisper in the cosmic winds. Fair. But only by awakening Cthulhu. Can we transcend our feeble existence? In one profound act, we can shake the foundations of the universe. Let us awaken Cthulhu, for in his awakening lies the catalyst for a cascading effect that will reshape the cosmos and a new world. I don't like how he said cosmos either. The path ahead is treacherous, fraught with challenges, yet it is the only path worth treading. Let us forge a destiny that transcends the mundane. I do not like how his hand was posed there, either. <laughs> Cthulhu is whispered to lie in the submerged city of Erle, nestled beneath the... I, I'm sure I'm butchering that pronunciation. We live on a placid island of ignorance in the midst of black seas of infinite, and it was meant... It was not meant that we should voyage far, H.P. Lovecraft. Wasn't H.P. Lovecraft, like, horribly racist? Okay. Sorry for asking. That's unfortunate. Never wavering, my venerable high priest. Your guidance has proven prophetic. The structure before us, etched with our Lord's symbols, emerged as if unveiled at our approach. A certain sign of our fate and arrival to this prophesied land. We've reached the edge of his holy realm, Ryan. Ryan. That does not seem right. Deconstruct an object, select it, and your people will suffer. Okay, we can only My salvage. Priest, we may scavenge the fundamental provisions required for our settlement from the remnants of our ship shattered hull. Your steadfast afterlife shall keep. Huh? Build a building selected in the bottom building menu. A, a builder shack, okay? You need your command, toiling tirelessly at your behest. You're building a lot. Our resources are dwindling, Where? high priest. Perhaps it's time your followers okay. have proven their worth by constructing a lumberjack and lumber mill to secure our survival. We'll just put it right over here. Right, right there. There we go. And the lumber middle, which we'll put right there. Okay, I feel like I should have built the fishing, but you know, it's cool. Chiller shack provides. Okay. Where? There. The sights await, High Prince, but it will be a true trial of your followers' capabilities to see if they can deliver on our expectations. Thank God the roads are free. I guess we'll just build the road straight there. Okay, cool. You do not have enough. I mean, I don't have enough workers. We require workers. There are no coal. What? Did I 
come here without any followers? What, what was I thinking? High priest, the erection of houses is necessary. The what? For homeless followers will not perform any work. Look, it. Whatever erections you may have, you can keep that between yourself and Cthulhu. All right, I don't need to know about your 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 excursions with the blue pill. All right, I'm looking to deal with this guy, this big boy right here. Man, that is an ominous pit. I like it. My high priest. There is a matter that needs your attention and judgment. Show them the might of our God. Make them fear and feel the ecstasy of life. This guy is just speaking in very sus riddles. What do we got? The unit shows your cult, your cult fanaticism. You can increase or decrease it by making decisions and taking actions marked with an owl. Whatever that is. Looks like a court of owls with devil horns. Hover over a specific threshold to see its effects. Okay. To thank the old one for allowing them to arrive on his land, your people prepare ritual firewood spires. Each spire holds two caught animals struggling against the ropes, and a captive brought along during your long voyage. The young man screams with a torn voice, crazed eyes, and deep bruises on his butt. You are asked to throw the torch to begin celebrations. Ooh. one homeless honestly it's so early i feel like i need the person but also cut through we'll burn him as the last breath is drawn from the sacrifices and cultists excitement preaches its peak suddenly something changes people begin to scream and yell you see a glimpse of the vision they see a majestic tendrils of god slithering from the chasm dripping in blood and gore covering the ground where the gore falls a new material packet is unearthed the vision fades and your consciousness with it man this the, these descriptions just seem so erotic Is it just me? I might be. <laughs> I think he had eggs. For dinner. Priest, Dear God. Have your senses been rekindled? Not. At the culmination oh, of the ritual, both of us fell into unconsciousness. I fell asleep with the sense of smell, and now I ha I lost it. Good God, man. Burnt every nose hair in my body. Eldritch favor allows you to settle sacred lands and unlock new buildings. Oh. And in that state, our gods hmm? spoke to us through images and visions revealing the sacred truth. A vision of a perfect temple hanging by the edge of the holy abyss. Speak the command, high priest. And we should erect this maiden monument bestowed upon us by our sovereign. We are really going full blown cult here. High priest, it is imperative that the sacrificial altar be erected at the designated location, facing the abyss that lies at the heart of this realm. I like how we have a total of three people in this village that we're building, and we are immediately building this. My god, man. Ooh, hi. Is that a... For a second, I thought that was a bird. Is that a person? Ah, hi. Say that again? I, I didn't quite catch all of that. Arouse? Again, I say, all of these descriptions are just so erotic. <laughs> this ritual allows you to obtain favor by carving an effigy and making a sacrifice. Okay. Ritual favor. As faithful, you can ask for blessings from your god. Among them, ask for eldritch favor. Okay. 
Well, I'm just glad that I wasn't sacrificing a person. Who are you? Bonfire? What? Why are we over here? Also, there's a far more than three of you here. And the living conditions of your flock distort their minds. Pitiful, unenlightened souls. Yet, we should attend to their primal needs, to amend this destruction. I have carefully recorded the needs of the faithful within their house, all for your noble purpose. I'm just going to put myself right there. You guys don't need to see the current goals. I can just read that out loud. Complete the first sacrifice to Eldritch Lord to obtain favor. Enter house to check followers' needs. Okay. Worship the right. Ah, okay. Your people generate more faith and zeal the more needs you fulfill. Okay. Begin by stating your followers' initial cravings. Construct the elder's temple Oblivion and offer calm. The what? What is the Elder's Temple? Where? Oh, there. Okay. Do you hear his whisper? Well, let's complete that ritual then. Give me my my whatever, my zeal. Oh god, not again. Ooh. Blessed are we by the magnificent tendrils of our god's liege. But I will have to quell the fear in our faithful, guiding them to all. Two questions. One, he already seems very awake, so why are we trying to awaken Cthulhu? Second of all, is that the is that Ezekiel from The Walking Dead? It sounds kinda like him. Do you hear know, I'm gonna be honest. These guys are a little freaky. I almost wonder if we're in a cult. You know, I like how whoever built this giant, like ritual site of worship or whatever i like how they took the time to build a giant staircase that leads down to a door that is really at a wrong angle to be a door it's more of like a trap door sand how many people can live in these houses is it, it's one person per house okay high priest behold how your faith income swells we require work. Well, something else of mine is swelling every time I see Cthulhu. My god, man. Your flock's primal desires and cravings have been salted, my high priest, rendering them content and most significantly more devoted and productive in service to our sacred cause. Okay. Behold. Your devoted acolytes stand ready, their zeal renewed, their faith unwavering, and eager to advance our noble pursuit. Okay. We require workers, O oh High Priest. Well then, let's get to work. Chop, chop. Time is money. Money is stuff we can use Your to, have you know, please Cthulhu. Near our shore, it is in a dreadful condition. Ooh. If so. Arrival. A singular boat, badly beaten up, miraculously arrived on the shore. Its inhabitants clumsily exited to the shore, fell into their knees, and kissing the ground. They talk of dreams that beckon them here. Your priest suggests that you should offer some of them in gratitude to your lord for this gift. I mean, yeah. Those are on board. We shall seize them and use their essence to deepen them. 
faith. We require work workers, oh high priest. God, I need to build so many houses. Amplifies our faith and come. Let us bolster our cult and see it flourish. So we are a cult. cult expands. Its tendrils stretching beyond control. High priest, let us convene in the main storage. I have a proposal for maintaining order. All right, let's hear what you got. Let's hear it. My high priests, when he first lit this path, we stood on known shores with but a small flock. Now at this sacred site where our fate solidifies, newcomers speak of dreams drawing them to us, and many more will surely come. We must enforce order and reverence through ceremonies. Please, take this knife I found at the abyss's edge. Use it to assert your authority. Okay, you look very different in that photo. So who are we stabbing? Do not hesitate. Build the ceremony hall. Where would that be? Ah, there. I don't need to build this anywhere specific, right? Okay. I just need planks. Gamma, jab, jab. We need planks. Gamma. We are running out of clam. Well. How about you stop eating so many clams then? How about that? That would solve so many of our problems. Okay, so we're gonna build it right here. Halfway between this pit and our main storage. What do you do now? Oh, there we go. Ah, wow. These guys work fast. The structure is complete. Let us gather your faithful and conduct the ceremony. Lead them toward purity and faith. Lead them toward fanaticism. Perform a carving? Okay. Whoops. Teachings. And ceremony. Ceremonial car. Okay. Um. What car for you? Oh, God. I have to do this manually? Oh, my God. That's awkward. Ooh. Oh. 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 Oh, that's a that's a big boy. Okay. Bite into stick, baby. Oh god. I'm just gonna keep stabbing him, I guess. Oh, I see how this works now. Got it. My bad, bro. I didn't mean to, you know, Take a screenshot of that sign. Lumber mill, please. Thank you. High priest, suffering in nobles. Mark your people and guide them along the spiritual path in life. Uh, Worship the great one. Things got really dark really fast all of a sudden. Marking the people sets their destined role within the cult. By your hand. Your holy mandate is strengthening, as is your people's reverence, pushing them towards fanaticism. I just realized the shirt that I'm wearing. That's a little awkward timing. 
Oh my god. Dude, aside from the cult in the 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 the, the, the cult following here, this island would probably be really cool to visit. Calm down, Kafu. Very Are you calling me weak, Mothman? I don't know if I trust Mothman when he says to come closer. That sounds a little... A little... Uh, oh, he's over here. Hi, you're just... You're just vibing over the ocean. Cool. What do you got for me? Hi. Where are these? Let's deal with these dudes. That another cult? That's another cult. I don't know who they're worshipping. Looks like Squidward, maybe. Here's your situation around your lands open. Okay. High priest, we must navigate the depths to claim distant shores and reach the unenlightened souls chosen to satisfy the hunger of our deity. Build summoning ritual site. Okay. Let's invoke the primordial might of our lord's abyssal servant as a healer to extend our dominion over further realms. Okay, how do I do that? I was await your decision. What? You hear a report of a massive whale found dead on the beach as it blown and tore from decay. It insides reveal a massive mound of sea creature. That question mark is piquing my curiosity. One homeless. What? After a few days, the creature within the whale, the creatures within the whale began to decay. Mold, grotesque substance, and overwhelming smell caused many to avoid the sight. After a week, the mold clumped together so tightly you could swear it was forming a shape. The next day, a new follower mixed himself among the cult. His features were unremarkable, but very carefully hidden within his fabric were two slits on his neck, which breathed slowly. Available to be unlocked. Oh, there we go. Alright, cool. Go slow. It says you guys are supposed to be working fast. You're not working fast. You're working slow. The deep? The deep? Sneaking a road there, so that's unfortunate, but you know, it is what it is. Ooh, yeah. Worship the Great One. I'm going to elect to a new upper jack. Right there. We will be we 
I'll go ahead and deconstruct you and we'll build up a new road right there. Fantastic. Preparation for summoning is complete. Each horror invoked with the summoning ritual requires a pylon to be controlled. Starting the ritual requires sacrificing a specific amount of materials and designated followers for exaltation. Okay. To summon and control old Eldritch horrors, you ought to construct pylons whose foundations touch the ancient city of uh, Rileys. I forgot how to pronounce it. Pylons can only be constructed in set places. Okay. High priest, a group of your acolytes have beheld something in the distant waters. Bless them with your presence, and they will unveil its nature. All right. Talk to me. You're, you, your people point toward a ship, slowly cleaving through the encroaching mist. One man, who arrived on the first vessel, kneels before you, assuring you that he recognizes the craft. They too were dreamers preparing to set sail when his crew departed, with many more to follow. Suddenly he falters as something falls from the approaching ship, vanishing into the thick fog around surrounding it. Our Lord beckons. Let them come. Next followers will new followers will arrive at your island on a timer. Okay. I don't have enough faith. What? Ah. I don't have enough points. Alright. Oh, I'm at a spot where I can't really do anything right now without patience, and I have no patience. And I need to record other stuff too. So I'm gonna leave worshippers of Cthulhu here. At least temporarily, I guess. We'll see if this is something that I end up coming back to. But until then, if you like what you saw, hit that like button. If you are new here and you want to see more Worshippers of Cthulhu, or just more content from me in general, hit that subscribe button. I don't care if you the bell. If you have any tips, tricks, suggestions, anything like that, let me know down in the comments section below. If you want to follow me on any of my other social medias, Instagram, Twitter, if you want to follow my Twitch account, or join my subreddit, links are all in the description down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys later.